What's up guys, Adam here. Welcome back to another AC Milan career mode in FIFA 17. Today, we are going to be playing one against Genoa at the San Siro. Then we're taking on newly promoted Pescara, who's managed by Massimo Odo. We have the second leg of the semifinals in the Coppa Italia. And then we are taking on Palermo. We're going to be halfway through April when this episode does end. So let's jump into it. We're taking on Genoa. Let's see if we could start off with a big victory because there's not that much time left in the season. 28 games played, 10 more to go, and we're sitting first with 58 points right in front of Napoli. Uh, we're probably up there because of goal differential. And apparently, there was a recent patch on FIFA 17, so uh, don't know how it's going to play. Hopefully, it doesn't make me lose my mind and actually start picking up losses. Genoa in sixth place with 42 points. Let's do this, boys. See if we can start off with a victory. Okay, just realized something. Donnarumma and Romagnoli have updated player faces. Are there any other players that they have updated their picture? No, it doesn't look like it. They've updated Donnarumma and they've updated Romagnoli. I think that's pretty cool. Doesn't really matter about the pictures. We're going with Donnarumma, Calabria, Rugani, Romagnoli, Antonelli, Kuchka, Kovacic, Suzo, Niang, Baka, and Bakambu. Best home records. We have made our home our fortress. 10 victories, 3 draws, 1 loss. And we have 33 points in those 14 matches played at home. Very, very nicely done at the San Siro. And I think our home fans are happy about that. They're finally seeing a Milan that is starting to win. And I'm actually seeing this in real life. I have high hopes for Milan. Let's do this, boys, against Genoa. And uh, let's see if the patch has made the game maybe a little bit harder on Legendary. Because Legendary is not that difficult right now. We're actually starting off straight away. Bakambu. Into Baca. Can Baca get there? Baca's there. And Carlos scores in the fourth minute. And what else do you want from Carlos Baca? He is just a pure finisher. Cedric Bakambu with a very, very nice through ball into Baca. Kuchka gave that one to Bakambu. Bakambu to Baca. Slots that one at the near post. And that's his 17th goal of the season. We're up 1-0 four minutes in. And with a team in form like this, there's no doubt in my mind that we're going to continue picking up victories. Very happy about that. Kovacic to Bakambu. Bakambu is going to run a little bit. Give this one off to Niang. Niang back into Bakambu. Bakambu, Kovacic. Nice passing. Baka. Here's Baka. Baka to Bakambu. Good ball. Bakambu the finish. And Cedric and Baka both getting on the score sheet in this match. 39 minutes in. It's 2-0. Beautiful passing, absolutely ridiculous. Kovacic, Baka, Baka, waited a bit into Bakambu, who returns the favor from his last pass to Baka, scores his fifth goal this season, 40 minutes in, and they have both been scoring so many goals. 2-0. Three minutes of added time. Can we get a goal right before halftime? Here's Baka, Baka to Niang, Niang, Bakambu. Can he get to that one? Please tell me he's on side. Here's Cedric, Cedric. I didn't know if I was offside or not, so yes, it was. Okay, why did the referee take so long to call the offside on that one? Finally calls the offside. They're going to clear it away, and is that going to be the end of the first half? Yes, it will be. 2-0, goals by Baka and Bakambu. Let's get into the second half, boys, and see if we can put another one in. Bakambu into Baka. Here's Carlos Baka, out wide to Suzo. Suzo, let's give this one in. Back to Baka. Baka, let's give this to Bakambu. That was... A misplaced pass by Baca, but it's back out to Suzo. Suzo, Kovacic. Here's Mateo Kovacic. Can't turn. Substitution. Going to be bringing on Locatelli. I'm also going to be bringing on El Gazzi. Nicely done by Manuel Locatelli. Trying to prove his worth with his defensive abilities that I've been training. I've been training them since the beginning of the season. Because that's the type of player I want him to be. More of a regista. Here's Pandev. Pandev the shots! Pandev wide, past Donnarumma, but couldn't find the back of the net. Watch a shot, that's a pass. Laxaltz goes near post, slots that one past Donnarumma. And it's 2-1, Genoa showing why they're in 6th place. They've still been a decent team to play against, and Laxaltz slots that one into the bottom right corner. Scoring his second goal of the season, it's 2-1 with 3 minutes left. There it is, Rugani. Clear this one away. Yes, that's going to be the end of this match, boys. 2-1 victory goals by Bakambu and Baka. And that's going to put us at the top of the table. 
We have been just absolutely dominating and honestly, we deserve to be dominating because we have been playing such good football this past season and the man of the match is going to go to Baka with one goal and one assist. Also, Bakambu had the same exact uh, record as Baka with one goal and one assist. Another three points. First training growth in this episode, and it goes to Donnarumma once again. He's now an 86 overall. Scouting report has brought us back Alessio Giordano, 44 to 60 overall with the potential of 68 to 94. So let's sign him up straight away, and let's go take a look at the actual monthly scouting report from our youth academy. Giordano is a fullback, 55 overall with a potential of 68 to 94. And then we have Bruno, who's again a fullback. Then Andrea Lombardi, 53 overall. And Guidi, 53 overall. We're taking on Pescara. And I'm going to be giving my youth a chance in this match because Pescara are in 14th place. So they're a decent side, but I want to play some of my youth players in this match. Let's do this away from home against newly promoted Pescara. Rotating the lineup heavily because the match in the Coppa Italia is coming up in four days. So Donnarumma, De Chilio, Paletta, Gomez, Vangioni, pretty experienced at the back. Pazalic, Sosa, Kuchka, El Gazzi, Lapazula, and Memphis Depay. We do have Rinaldi and Colombo on the bench, who I'm definitely going to bring on. And if we do need a goal, we either have Baka or Niang on the bench. Let's jump into it. Let's see if we can pick up three points once again. Beautiful day for football. We're in March. Winter has just finished, so it's not going to be a cold day here. And um, I want another victory. I want another victory. And you never know what happens in FIFA. Some stuff happens, and we try to win every game here's the Chilio the Chilio on the ball the Chilio whipping this one in who's there absolutely nobody El Gatti can he head that one goalkeeper punches it away Bizzari the experienced Argentinian goal goalkeeper is in nets for Pescara Sosa to whip it in Kuchia's there in his free and a great block also Lapadula is taking on his former club let's see if he can score against them and try not to celebrate I don't want to celebrate if I do score with Lapadula because that would be very disrespectful. Here's the Shilio. The Shilio into the box. Pazalic couldn't get his head to it. Simone Pepe. What a strike. That one came out of nowhere for Pescara. And the ex Juve man with a sensational strike into the top left corner. We were screwing around with it at the back. And they made us pay for it. Pepe. Top left corner, right off the post. We're down 1-0. Pazalic to Elgazi. Elgazi, good touch. Over the top for Gianluca Lapadula. He's getting it. He's getting it, the workhorse. Here's Lapadula trying to take it in. That one's going to go out for a corner kick. Another one. Let's see what we can do with this one. Sosa, that one's into the box. Straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Tried to go far post. That one's in. Bahabek. Pescara. I think they're just trying to survive the drop, so they're bringing everything into this match. And I don't want to see my run of games, uh, of winning games, ended by Pescara. It's looking like it's going to happen. El Gazzi, no, Sosa tried to get that pass in, but the passing is just all off today. Paleta, get to that one. Do we have one more opportunity before halftime? Probably not. End of the first half, 1-0, goal by Simone Pepe. Let's get into the second half, boys. This is embarrassing to be losing to Pescara. Juraj Kuchka in to El Gazzi. El Gazzi. Can somebody help him out? Can somebody help him out? To Pazalic. Pazalic. To Lapadula. Lapadula. Sosa. Right back into Lapadula. Lapadula. Got pushed. No foul. Here's Pepe. We only have one defender. We only have one defender to pass. And Bahabek. And we're down 2 0. We are down 2 0 to newly promoted Pescara. Last time we played was a 4-1 victory for us. And now we can barely take a shot on target. 60 minutes in, we're down. Okay, so we need a goal. So I'm going to be bringing on Baca. And I am going to be swapping Pasalic for Locatelli. Like right now, it's not even about winning. It's just about getting a freaking shot on target. I literally haven't done that this whole half. There it is. Here's Memphis. Memphis the pie coming in. Let's get it on your good foot. What the finet? He, he hits it off the post. Ah, Memphis... You're pulling a Niang. You're pulling a Niang with hitting the post. Could have made the game 2-1, but completely muffed that one up. That's a nice ball. El Gazzi. 
He's not offside. Yes, into Baca. Baca, let's go. Nice touch. Here's Carlos. Carlos into the middle to Vangioni. Into Algazzi. Algazzi can't even take a shot. They are just defending so well, Pescara. Play this one in, Sosa. Can we find somebody's head? Who's that into? Straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Depay into the middle for Baca. And the referee is going to bowl for full time. 2-0 loss. Pescara shocks everybody in Serie A by beating the league leaders and we're gonna be walking out of here with no points doesn't really matter because we do have a game in the Coppa Italia to worry about against Roma Davide Calabria has increased to a 73 overall with the player training with an A on one on two defending the match I've been actually waiting for semi-finals against Roma and last time out we actually did pick up a 2-1 victory in the first leg now we're away from home Let's see if we can score some goals and just try and push our way into the finals, which is going to be played either against Juve or Fiorentina. Lineup Donnarumma, Calabria, Rugani, Romagnoli, Antonelli, Kovacic, Giacomo Bonaventura is back in the lineup. Suzo, Niang, Baca, and Bakambu. Roma going for El Sharawi, Dzeko, and Mohamed Salah up top. I can see they're playing Paredes, also De Rossi, Florenzi. Manolas and just a very very good lineup for Roma we've got back one of our playmakers in Bonaventura and we're already up 2-1 on aggregate so we're gonna try not to push too much forward just try to play smart defensively and just try to push ourselves into the finals Bakambu to Niang Niang let's send in an early cross can Baca find his way to that one Baca Carlos Baca, who scored maybe one or two of those headed attempts, heads that one wide. Good power behind it, just the accuracy was all off. Nice. Here's Niang. Niang into Jack. Here's Jack outside the box. Bonaventura. Great save, Chesney. And I still don't know where Allison is. Still don't know where Allison is. Why are they not playing him? Kovacic into Suzo. Suzo whip this one in. Who's there? Someone get to it. Baka, let's go for the header. The ball is just bouncing all over the place to Niang. Niang, take the shot, Niang. Hits off the bar. That one's there. Baka tries to jump for it. And Chesney comes out and grabs that one. Nice, Calabria. Yes. Do we have one more opportunity? Suzo into Baca. We've got some space. Here's Carlos. He's going to take it. He's going to push his way through. Let's go far post. Great save. Bakambu is there. Right on halftime. Cedric Bakambu. We take advantage of the counter attack. Beautifully worked. Baca with the initial shot. Saved by Chesney. I tried. Honestly, I was thinking maybe pass to Bakambu straight away. But I decided to take the shot with Baca. And Bakambu scores his first goal in the Tim Cup. And it's 3-1 on aggregate, 1-0 in this match. And the referee is going to blow for halftime. It's 1-0. Bakambu to Baka. Right back to Bakambu. Here's Cedric. Cedric going to play that one into Bonaventura. Bona no. Bonaventura was going for a cross. I was going for a cross. And he decided to slide tackle. Uh, I think that was either Manolas or Vermalen. And he's going to get himself a yellow card. Hopefully, he's going to be available for the final if we go through. Taking Bonaventura off, bringing on Locatelli. I'm also going to be taking off Niang and bringing on El Gazzi. Locatelli, Bakambu, Bakambu, El Gazzi to Manuel Locatelli. Can break around Jesus. Yes, what a star, Locatelli. Here's Locatelli into Suzo. Suzo the shot. Great save. Takes his own rebound. And Chesney leaving an incredible rebound right there. Locatelli out, -muscle, out muscling Juan Jesus. And a great ball into Suzo. The first time shot saved, but making no mistake with that rebound. It's 4 1 on aggregate. 84th minute. Suzo scoring his first goal. It's 2 0. Here's Florenzi. Florenzi. Paredes took the shot. Paredes misses completely wide. And I'm pretty sure nothing else is going to happen in this match. Let's kick it forward. Kovacic, can he get to that one? Yes! We're going into the finals, boys. We are going into the finals of the Coppa Italia for the second year straight. Last time was a disappointment not to win against Juve, but this time I'm looking for redemption. We pick up a victory, our second victory in this episode, and one loss against Pescara. And now we're going to see who we're playing in the finals of the Coppa Italia. So for some reason, it doesn't show who we're actually playing in the finals because... 
The aggregate scoreline was 4-4 between Juve and Fiorentina, so we're gonna have to wait a couple of days and see who we're actually taking on. Suzo came up to me and said, may we discuss wages? I'm going to negotiate a new contract with him. He's currently on 46,000 per week and he wants 60,000 per week, so that's what I'm gonna offer him for two years and an important first team player squad role. Okay, now final match of this episode, it's coming up against Palermo and I am going to be simulating this match. They're in 19th place with 30 games played and 23 points. We're in first still, Juve right behind us with one point difference and Napoli in third with 59 points. If we could walk out of here with a victory by simulation, I'd be very, very happy. That would make three victories in this episode and one loss to Pescara. Let's jump into it. We are going to be rotating our lineup heavily for this match. Starting 11, Gabriel, De Chilio, Paleta, Gomez, Vangioni, Pasalic, Sosa, Kuchka, Elgazzi, Lapadula, and Depay. It doesn't really show, but Depay has already played something like 24 games. I honestly did not realize that. He's been in decent, decent form. I think he has a lot more to give, but he just isn't showing it. They're going with pretty, I guess... Decent lineup for Palermo. Baca has come on for Lapadula. Niang has come on for Depay. They got themselves a yellow card. El Gazzi scored in the 83rd minute. And that is going to push us through with three points. El Gazzi scoring in the 83rd minute. I think that's maybe his second or third goal. And we walk out of here with another big victory. That's going to end this episode, boys. We are taking on fifth place Inter next time out in another Derby di Milano. Derby della Madonnina. I'm losing my voice. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Do it! Do what? Just do it! Okay, do what? Do it! Subscribe to my channel. But I already am subscribed. Oh. So subscribe to my second channel. And also, follow me on Twitter at TheNobsYT. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! But I can. Yes, you can! Oh, okay. Do it!